Welcome to the Stuff and Things Podcast. Your home for all stuff related to your favorite things in entertainment. Now, here are your hosts. We got a soup terrorist. Rain has blown a canister. And we're the most wanted c- in the country. But don't you worry. Daddy's home. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, Daddy is home. And this is, without a shadow of a doubt, the only show I can say that without complaints. I am Sam. Joining me to discuss the season finale of The Boys is my boy, is Stefan. Hey, man, how is it going? Oh, I'm hot, dude. It's really hot. And this is like the fifth time I've done that intro. Yeah, we've, we've had to take a couple <laughs> of attempts at this, haven't we? It's... We've had some technical issues. Um, to the point that we have restarted this podcast. This is like number five, and I've made that joke. So if if Stefan didn't laugh at my joke, then that's because he's heard it a lot, Honestly, not... so many times, so yeah, many times. And so so like, <laughs> hey, your daddy's here. And it's like, oh no. Yeah, I've... we know, dude. Yeah, we know. Yeah, we know. <laughs> <laughs> You've introduced me. I introduced you like a different way each time as well. This time I was just like, oh, he's my boy. He's my boy. My home boy. Yeah. Oh, mate, I am done now. We've got to do a whole podcast talking about this show, and I, I feel like I've done it twice. Yeah, we, this whole intro has been done a couple of times now. So uh... I, I feel I feel bad, because I need to bring the energy, because this is a great show. Uh, we have a lot of very dedicated fans to the podcast. Thank you so much. Uh, we're going to open with a, a message, actually, we had in from a guy called Chris. Uh, Chris, you don't tell me where you're from. Um, so uh, get in touch again, let me know. Uh, but Chris says... Uh, really enjoyed the show, guys. Found it really funny last week when you were talking about how you can say what you like on this one and basically be yourselves. However, as someone who listens to you talk on other shows, and even with my kids in the car, I listen to your podcast about Miss Marvel, I did have a panic when the last show ended and I heard the intro to this one. Thank you for beeping out the C word. <laughs> that could have gone down well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's yeah. No. Yeah. Nope. No. Nope. No. Nope. Yeah. That's what British people call each other. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, uh, thank you for the message. Really appreciate it. Um, big thank you to everybody who listens and messages in. Uh, we do see them. I do respond to as many emails as I can. Um, the main reason why I'm saying that as I can is because just recently with the Ms. Marvel stuff, we have been slammed, which is fun you know there's a lot of really great opinions and stuff in there but it just means i'm really behind (laughs) so (laughs) apologies i will reply to you um and you feel free to send me another one like oh you forgot me or something and i I will i promise (laughs) uh we are talking about the boys season three episode eight the finale of the season and the title of the episode was the instant white hot wild well remembered brother I can say that really smugly because no one knows I cocked up and didn't know it on the first two attempts. No, that's no right then because <laughs> no one, no one will ever know. We won't tell them. It's fine. Oh, it was so embarrassing on the last one. Yeah, oh. yeah. I, I'm, I'm starting to think you sabotaged that recording on purpose. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm now, I'm now semi, I'm now semi convinced when I'm saying, "Hey, are you there? You're there." Going, I'm just, yeah. Mate, uh, what, can you hear me? What, uh, yeah, you're doing it on purpose. I'm going through a yeah. tunnel. <laughs> yeah. Wait a minute, that sounds familiar. <laughs> uh, um, so uh, basically, this is the finale of the season three. I'm delighted to say, for anyone who doesn't know, the show has been renewed for a season four. Um, there is a lot of rumours at the moment that it's actually been a double renewal with five being a finale. Now... There's nothing confirmed on that because some people uh, are basically saying that it's fact, but other people are saying that no, people have misunderstood the information because season four is there, but they've also announced a live action spin off. Yes. The live action spin off is basically going to be like a uh, college years for superheroes. So, like a vault university for enhanced individuals. I. I don't know about you, but we look at the way that the soups behave as adults, fully formed adults. My God, the idea... that precious party is going to be insane. <laughs> yeah, so 
you know, like the hero gasm episode, I'm starting to fear what this show's going to be. Because oh man, it's going to be that every week, isn't it? Maybe, maybe me and you had a very different college university experience to a lot of people, but you know, that's where <laughs> my head went. Yeah. yeah, I didn't go to university, but as a no. DJ, I did DJ quite a few freshers' events. Yeah, um, so I I'd... got a pretty good understanding pretty quick. Yeah, I, <laughs> again, I didn't go to university. However, I did work as a doorman uh, security for one or two events that um, were quite eye-opening <laughs> and trader-dropping. <laughs> anyway, um, we are delighted that the show is coming back. I mean, I, I, me and you have talked about this. The, the show is um, batshit. It really is. It's, it's kind of... Yeah. It's extreme in every sense of the word. It is just absolutely full throttle. But they don't... Because of that, I think they're actually allowed... I say allowed, but... They can kind of get away with absolutely pulling no punches. Yeah. Like, you know, if you're going to sh- if you're going to have a show where a guy shrinks down into another guy's dick and then explodes him from penis outwards. Mm-hmm. And in that same show have a very very real social commentary on the way black people are treated, you know, the guns in the USA. And actually do it in a very, very visceral, like, oh, wow, yeah, that's kind of a really Black Mirror version, <laughs> you know? Oh, yeah. It, it, I cannot be impressed. I, I, I look at this show all the time and think, the people who have written this have done an incredible job. Um, I don't know, because I'm not a fan of the comics, and if you are, please do message me, because I don't know how much of the social commentary exists in the comics, it could be for the TV adaptation. I genuinely don't know. So let me know. Uh, I would be interested to know if that is actually being taken from the source material or if they have literally just lifted the characters and situations. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I've I've seen some things from the comics. I, I've not yeah. read the comics, but I have no. looked... I've looked at the comics and I've seen the comics. Like, yeah. extracts and bits. And, jeez, yeah, there's not much... Yeah, we we think yeah. we think the show's bad. The the comics go to a whole other level. And one of the things I spotted in the comics actually was the fact that the big villain the, to the end of the comic run was actually Butcher. Yeah, and it was the rest of the boys, basically Huey, having to take Butcher down. And, and the way this yeah. season kind of ended, me and you were yeah. both talking a lot about the oh my god, yeah. they're going to do it. They're going to do it. Well, we were going into the finale, the, the final episode, and me and you both were like, oh, no. I did. Me especially, because I was kind of like, I there's something in Butcher, which this is going to sound really bad, right? There's something in Butcher I identify with, and I don't know what it is, but I do. In a kind of like, I, I really identify with that part of him, and he's an asshole. And like, all these things that I'm like, that's not me. <laughs> so, <laughs> mate, 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 jump in here. I'm not no, Butcher, no, I'm right? Letting, I'm, I'm letting you yeah. dig with this one. I yeah, you're just let, so you're letting so many things me, you have on me. I'm letting yeah, you go for this you're, one. You're, yep. letting me, you're letting me throw the hand grenade into the hole I'm digging for myself. Yep. Thanks, dude, yeah. No worries. Um, no worries. I'm just remembering the cars from uh, Umbrella Academy and that recording you have of me. So that's fine. Yeah. You carry yeah, on. Yeah. You yeah, carry we'll, on. We'll, <laughs> we'll come back to that when that show airs again. So I I genuinely am kind of like, there's something there. I want him to have a full... I, I want him to have kind of like an ending where he's at peace. That's what I want. I yep. don't want him to be the archetype kind of loses his mind trying to get revenge. And that's But that's just me. That's a personal thing. I think from a comic book point of view, I think from a storytelling point of view, I completely understand that's why you could go that way. You know, the kind of former best friends, like family, then being pitted against each other. It's a formula that works. (laughs) See Star Wars. And (laughs) I, I'm just kind of like, oh, I'd much prefer if he didn't, I'd much prefer there to be an ending. So I have created a kind of, head canon if you like which is the way i'd like butcher's story to end okay. and i will tell you at the end of this podcast remind me i now, will do my best to remember because we are anyone this. yeah <laughs> anyone who listens to us on a regular basis will be rolling their eyes right now oh my god he said circle back <laughs> yeah we know i we know won't. we know we yeah won't. <laughs> yeah we know we forget okay <laughs> 
And I'm sorry. And I do genuinely, man. Of all the emails we get, and we do get a lot, so thank you so much. But of all the emails I get, nine times out of ten, they're titled Circle Back Question Mark. <laughs> and it's agents. like, what were you going to say when you said this? And I'm like, oh, yeah, sorry about that. And here's the answer to what I was going to say. So oh if God, I ever we do... We could do like a podcast of just all the times we've said... Of just literally circle called back. Circle... We, maybe we ought to do that once a month, like the last Friday of every month, and we'll call the show Circle Back. And we will literally just answer all of those questions of the stuff that we completely forgot. That'd be brilliant. <laughs> oh, dear. I think it's a bad indictment for us, but... Yeah, but you know we what? have to do a podcast every month to go, yeah. oh, by the way, you're right. Yeah, what yeah by the way. Sorry. Um, so I'm going to I'm gonna walk through this. Now, basically, I wrote myself bullet points of just, like, discussions. I didn't do any sort of order. I didn't I... do any, any kind of... Um, like story is in like these characters then talk about these characters i've literally just done bullet points of stuff i want to talk about so if you want to kick off with anything mate and then we'll go to my bullet points because i i don't have any sort of a uh, structure to the show for this one i just literally want to go bullet point let's discuss this after the finale let's discuss this after the finale oh okay. Um, okay let's go straight go to the bullet points then it, i've got my notes here and anything that you've missed i'll okay i'll jump on because otherwise right. I feel like we'll go through it and go bullet point, done that, bullet point, done yeah. that. And then, yeah. All right, cool. All right, so we'll open up then. My very first bullet point just to discuss after the finale, Homelander and Ryan. Yeah. I am completely on the fence on this because everywhere the reaction appears to be, Ryan, you little shit. And people are like, oh, no, Ryan's going to become like Homelander point, you know, 2.10 or, you know, whatever. Yeah. Right? Now, I... I'm in two minds on this because one, I could understand how that works storyline wise. I yep. completely get why everyone thinks it. I completely understand it. Given how Butcher treated him, I also make sense that a young boy would do that. Homelander's yep. showed up. He's been nothing but kind to him in that moment, which Butcher was not. You know, literally, you are not to blame for what happened, whereas Butcher hates him for what happened. Yep. So it all makes rational sense. However, the reason why I'm slightly on the fence is there were several scenes in the big fight where Butcher literally froze himself in front of Ryan. Ryan doesn't try and get away from Butcher. Ryan doesn't fight Butcher. Ryan doesn't do anything other than allow Butcher to protect him. Mm -hmm. The time that Ryan goes to Homelander's side is when Homelander's clearly about to attack them. And Ryan says, I just want to go. And it's Ryan doing that, taking Homelander away, that prevents that fight and possibly some of them dying. Oh. So did Ryan Ooh. do that because he's actually protecting Butcher and the boys and therefore he's actually playing a bit of a game? Because he's a sweet kid. I don't believe that he's suddenly become Homelander, you know, 2.0. I, I, I'm not seeing that. True, but even then, if... even at the very end scene where Homelander destroys that bloke. Yeah. Ryan's, the look on Ryan's face yeah. is like, oh, is that oh, agreeing with him? Or is that yeah. a, whoa. Yeah, this is, this, <laughs> damn, is this, is this what you're doing now? Ooh. Um. That end scene, as you just said it, I, th I think it's well worth us just touching on that. Me and you talked a lot in this series about how Homelander, the big thing they had all along was Homelander loved his public image. Yeah. So he would not act that way in public because he wanted to be loved. What yeah. Stormfront did was weaponize the far right so he can literally now murder someone in the street and people will cheer him. And, and it was that, that asshole that cheered first as well. Mate, yeah. Oh. Now, so this is a fun thing. This is a show where you have got super-powered evil pricks. Yeah. You have got Homelander, Soldier Boy, people in this show, absolute evil personified in their lack of regard for human life. Mm -hmm. Why is it I hate that guy more than all of them? <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't make sense, but at the same time, I'm like, you ass hat. Do you know what? Yeah. Uh, genuinely, no. I, I, I think it might make sense because, and uh, this is just me reaching perhaps, but I don't know 
a guy with superpowers. I don't know a woman with superpowers. I don't know someone who can shrink and blow up other people's penises. I don't know any of those people in real oh, life. I wish you had stopped coming back to that bit because I cringe. No, 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 no. If 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 it's going to hurt, I'm going to talk about it. <laughs> However, I do know guys like him. Yeah. And maybe that's why, because that feels real. That guy, that character cheering in that moment felt real. Yeah. And felt like you can imagine that spineless piece of manure. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I'm editing myself, but I am. Yeah, dude, it's the boys. It's fine. Go yeah, for it. Yeah, say whatever the fuck you like. Yeah. Um, I, yeah, I, I just genuinely, I think that must be the reason. It must be. Because it, it makes no rational sense otherwise. <laughs> no, you're right. No, you're completely right. Like, it, it's the it's the little guy who literally is the little guy who will support the big bad because yeah I want yeah. to support some it's weird it reminds it's cause me he, it's because he wants to years ago. he wants to feel big he wants to yeah. feel a part of something he feels inferior he feels um, pushed out he feels everything I, I got see the thing is, is we're seeing this guy now don't get me wrong we're seeing him through a, a lens of literally only seeing his worship of superheroes. Yeah, we don't know any other aspect of his character, what he does, how he is the rest of the time. I mean, his interactions with MM's daughter have always seemed quite nice. I don't agree yeah. with him pushing the superhero thing, but you know, it's kind of okay. You've seen that, whatever. Yeah. But I don't get why a, a woman would, uh, you know, a, a black woman, a black daughter, is there with a guy who's basically worshiping someone who is pushing a white supremacist agenda that doesn't like that doesn't make sense now i don't know whether that's per, this is something that's happened since they've been together and perhaps that's going to be some friction that's going to lead to that relationship ending i think yeah. that guy's clearly got a bigger part to play given that they gave him that real prime slot of cheering on homelander at the end yeah that could have been any tom dick or harry but they made it that dick yep <laughs> mate that was nicely done I I every every yeah. now and again, every now and yeah, again. I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that. Yeah. Um. I yeah. I, that end scene is just terrifying for because we talked about it. It was kind of like you know, oh, the way they built this up. Surely Homelander has to die at the end of this because, you know, where do we go? Where do we possibly go from here? Well, holy shit, we go from him being on the brink of being himself in public to. Being himself in public, he literally murdered someone yeah. live on the street, and people cheered. And that is a fucking worry. And the person who's now running for vice president is Victoria Newman, the head popper. Yeah, after the deep killed the other guy, the VP. Yeah, yeah, which was at Homelander's instruction. Yeah, see you now know, I misjudged that very slightly oh, okay so what do you think when homelanders took on the conversation and the deep goes that's treason yeah i was like maybe is he getting deep to kill a train and the woman that was in the room that was my first thought you know this is treason as in you know, oh i see yeah, yeah, against together. Them, yeah we can't kill our own team sort of thing and I, yeah. so that's where i went i was like oh my god he's gonna get the deep to take these two out and then we see the guy. Now, I didn't realise he was the yeah. vice president at first. I thought he was the actual president. Yeah, yeah, no, I see what you mean, yeah. And then I was like, oh my God, he's killed the president instead. Whoa! Yeah. And then obviously it gets wrapped up as, ah, it was the yeah, vice sister, president. Yeah. Newman takes and, the place. Right, okay. Yeah, but yeah. presumptive nominee. Yeah, it's... it's mate, yeah. it is... The, the show has, in this finale taken because here's the thing me and you talk about this on shows a lot and marvel me and you have been quite critical recently and i think we're, we're right in it the criticism they've got a pacing problem yep. they are getting it wrong in my in my opinion your opinion where yep. we're kind of like oh this show is really interesting oh this is going somewhere okay we're a little okay all right well where are we now we're oh my god it's all got to be finished in an episode with yeah. the boys me and you last week went, oh, how can, you know, oh, oh, there's so much. What are we going to do? Yeah. And I watched this finale, and I not only feel like they wrapped everything, but opened so much. <laughs> like, it was yeah, like, this wow. this season has finished. This season has done, yeah. they've done what they wanted to do. Brilliant. Yeah. And at yeah. the same time, 
next season is really opened yeah. up to being like, yeah. wow, wait a minute. Yeah. He's not dead. She's not dead. She's now the vice president. No. What yeah. is going on? Yeah, yeah. It's, you literally have got this kind of, oh, wow. This <laughs> you, You've gone from wondering how they're going to wrap it all up to just being blown away that not only did they wrap it up, they opened more. <laughs> it's like, how, yeah. how did you do that in an hour? And now, you know, we want another episode to explore what's happening. And it's like, oh, yeah. I've got to wait till yeah. next season, you bastards. Yeah. Let's, let's just hope it's only a year. Um, the Stranger Things fans are currently reeling because of the announcement it's going to be 2024 before they get the final series. Um, yeah, there's a lot of people crying about it. It gives you more time to watch it, though, by the way. It's a good show. Do you know um, what? I will be, by the time the fifth season comes out, we will be able to, I mean, I won't be able to because you got Phoebe doing it and I feel like oh, no, she, I'd she, really mate, pee her off if I take her spot. But, mate, what, what, what kind of, what chance do you reckon I've got of her still being interested in doing it by the time that, you know, she's 14 in August. So by the time that comes out, she's 15, nearly 16. I'll be lucky if she's still talking to me, dude. <laughs> That's a fair point. Fair uh, so fair yeah, point, yeah. yeah. You need to have caught up by then. <laughs> All right, I'm up to 2024 um, to watch four seasons. Yeah. That's be fine. I can do that. To be honest with you, once you start, man, you'll, you'll, yeah, it's a great show. Anyway, back to this. Soldier Boy versus Homelander, and then Soldier Boy versus Homelander and Butcher, and I've done a shocked smiley next to it. Um, yeah. Let's just open with the Soldier Boy arc with this, because at the end of the last episode, me and you were like, he's called him, he's told him he's, he's his dad. The, what does that mean? You know, is he going to still go after him? What, oh, no. Are they going to become like an unholy alliance? This is a nightmare. Yeah, that was a team up. I was like, oh, my God, if that happens as a team up, this would be insane. But again, what this show did so well is like we go into this and not only did he make that phone call, he told Butcher and Huey. So Butcher and Huey are discussing it like, oh, you know, how is he since he's found out he's his dad? Oh, you know, he's still we still got a deal. And we're kind of like, oh, wow, I didn't think he would have told them, you know, but yeah. no, he has. Okay, so clearly he's still on board, but wait, no, he's acting weird. He's being off. And you had that conversation with Butcher about their fathers, and you're like, okay, you're coming across as a bit like my daddy was hard on me, but in reality, it sounds like you were a dickhead, <laughs> and your yeah. dad was just, I'm yeah. disappointed in you. Butcher literally got beaten to the point that his younger brother committed suicide. And this guy's like, yeah, I had a tough dad too. <laughs> and you're like, really? You went to boarding school. You had all this money, all this privilege. And you're basically bitching because daddy was disappointed in you because you weren't, you know, you weren't hitting the grade. And yeah. that's turned you into this. And then you become a superhero and your dad said you cheated your way to the top. You and took that's... a shortcut. Yeah. Now, not being funny... If I was offered that shortcut, yeah, probably going to take it. So if you were, to, so if you were offered compound V or temp V, yep. But if you took temp V, you could never take compound V and vice versa. Yep. Which would you choose, and what power would you wish to have, either for a short time or forever? I would probably go compound V. Okay, so you're going to have it and have it for life, yeah. Have it forever. Yeah. How many powers am I allowed to choose? Because, like, you know... One, dude. Well, Homeland well, has got ability to fly, laser eyes, super strong. Well, well, well pick oh, pick I... a character. So, say, I, I'd be like Homelander, or I'd be like this person, that person. Ooh. Now, part of me wants to say translucent, but... Dude, that's so perverted. We both know why. <laughs> no, I'd be able to get into why. all. I'd be able to get into all the concerts and sporting yeah, events I'd want yeah, to. And sneak yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. Who'd need to yeah. buy a season ticket? But you can sneak through the barriers. What I'm thinking. Hello there. <laughs> we, we, all, we all we all know what you're thinking. Um, yeah. probably um, someone like Kimiko actually. So Kimiko for me is like the Wolverine. Um, yeah, that's probably where yeah. I would go more towards that. Yeah, yeah, I, I, that's that's basically where I'd be. I think I think that's that's where I'd be. Uh, open question, by the way, if you're listening, drop us a message, drop us an email. What would you choose? Let me know. I'm, I'm interested if anyone would just like to do it for a day. You know, just just like ah, oh, I don't like the idea of being a superhero, but for a day maybe I'd like a train. You know, I'd like to be fast for a day or. Yeah. invisible for a day and 
generally get up to all sorts of mischief and then after that day be like what someone did what <laughs> no not me someone the bank got Central robbed Park? yeah doing yeah what to people what yeah what do you mean dude. everyone fell over for a day down one road i don't know what, i don't know what happened no dude dude you're filth just just walk away just walk away oh uh, <laughs> but there's the, the the fight the fight that then happens is obviously soldier boy in quite a cold moment and it's done very well because I, up to the moment he told him he was a disappointment, was not sure which way that was going to go. Yeah. Like, I, I kind of had an inkling because I just think Soldier Boy's an ass. I, I don't think, even if it was his kid, like, yeah, someone had given birth to him. Do you know what I mean? Like, even if it was his wife had had this child, I don't think the guy's got a paternal bone in his body. And the way he just walked up to him, and I was kind of like, oh, I'm not sure, I'm not sure, but I think he's going to fight him. And then I'm just disappointed. I was like, oh, here we go. Yeah. Bring it on. It was like, is this going to be a hug or a punch to the gut? No. Which one is it going to be? Yeah, and they have done it a couple of times in this series between these two especially, but I, I thought the fight sequences between the enhanced individuals were brilliant. Yes. It felt like real jeopardy. It felt like real fighting and how people would fight with these abilities. Like, he's got that shield but you can actually see damage on it from the laser eyes. Do you know what I mean? It's like yeah. stuff is happening. It's not just here I am with my shield, which by the way is surrounded by the unbreakable plot armor. No. It's like, no, no, no. Everything in this is taking damage. Every one of them is taking damage. My favorite fight though was Queen Maeve and Homelander. Yeah, because... that, was, that was something. That was like pure payback aggression. There were two two reasons why. One, I love the fact that Maeve was able to hurt him because yeah. she dedicated herself for months. I'm going to take this son of a bitch out. And she, she knew she couldn't. She knew that that fight was purely to try and keep him occupied long enough that maybe someone else could take him out. Yeah. But she wasn't going to walk away from it. She wasn't going to go... Actually, I'm not going to win this. I'm going to leave it. She went full bore, and when he when he went to her eye, I was like, "Oh my god, yeah, this that is was, so bad." That was something, yeah. But it's so visceral. This is what I was saying. It's like you watch a superhero fight in the MCU and stuff like that. You watch uh, Captain America: Civil War. Yeah, I know this is a group of people who are basically friends, but are kind of at odds in this moment, having a kind of set to rather than fighting for their lives but this is and i know this show's rated 18 not 12 eh? a yeah. but it's still you felt jeopardy like in this any character that i care about could have died 100 percent. and when he started yeah. putting his thumb through her eye you think yeah like, well, yeah he's about to pop mave's head it's like, oh, oh. So, so here's a criticism i've saw online i'd love to get your take on this okay people hated this episode and i mean have gone in on it really gone in on it because they feel it was crap because it was full of fake deaths like that moment with the eye they're like oh mave's done no she gets away with it then mave takes out soldier boy but no she actually walks away from it there's a rumor that well the creators have said black noir will appear in the next season in some capacity there's a fan theory about that which i like what how is how is yeah. Black Noir going to... What? Well, I, I I think they're going to adapt the comic book story. I think Homelander, with all that lab and all the genetics he went and found, is going to clone himself. And I think he's going to clone himself as Black Noir, like in the comics. Uh, that would make that's sense. my theory. That's, my th that's the way I think they can bring that comic story into... into yeah. Yeah. That's my... my I mean, I could be wrong, but that's my fault anyway. Or that, well, those the guy... little cartoon characters were hella good at surgery. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. That was still so weird. I mean, the whole Black Noir thing. I mean, we talk about it. The Black Noir thing was just weird, I thought. Um, you know, he's gone back there because he's more afraid of Soldier Boy than he is of Homelander. Yeah. That speaks volumes to me. Like, straight away, that's like, wow, that's crazy. Yeah, Homelander's kind of talking to him. Did you see that coming? Because I, with Homelander, I'm always so uneasy with him. Like every scene, you're like any moment, 
you could just kill this person. Un- until it actually happened, yeah, I didn't see it coming. No. I was wondering kind of where it was going to go, and then I like, did you know? And he kind of nodded. Well, that, that for like, me was Ooh. like, oh, yeah, you're in trouble here. Yeah. This, this is... In the... But then he seemed to be okay, and then not. Not okay. <laughs> It's like, oh, man, and then Black Noir was, so... was really not okay. Yeah. No, Black Noir was not okay. Um, so in essence, Noir is dead. But what do you think about that criticism then? Do you think that's fair? I, I watched the episode, loved it. I've watched it again before we recorded. I, I don't. I felt every scene and felt relief and excitement at people actually still being okay. I didn't feel like I've been shortchanged. I was kind of like, oh, brilliant. Uh, you know, that's interesting. Or I wonder how they did that. I, I'm not, I wasn't feeling cross about it. Yeah, um, I was surprised at Queen Maeve being alive. Um, yeah. I won't say disappointed, but yeah, I was surprised at that. Because we've yeah. both said in the podcast before that we felt like this was, it was leading up to her death. She knew yeah, she had to yeah. die to do it and all that lot. So she kind of went out and died the hero taking him out the window and things yeah. like that. So well, to I, see she survived, I was surprised by it. i got a theory, dude. i got a theory. And this, perfect, okay? Go on. You know I said ages ago, we'll circle back to something. Yes, yes. I'm actually We are circling, circling back. back. I, I need like a siren thing on our sound effects board. Like, woo, woo, circle back alert. Um... I have a theory of how we can have a Butcher Redemption ending Mm -hmm. and how Queen Maeve survived. Oh, okay. I think Queen Maeve is carrying a little soup baby of Butcher. Oh, from their one night in Tempe. Yep. And I think that enabled her to survive... Her powers obviously helped her, but then were drained. But I think over the next couple of months, she's going to realise she's expecting. And I think she's going to reappear. And that is what is going to bring Butcher back to kind of, oh, bloody hell, you know? <laughs> that I is can't, I can't see her girlfriend taking it very well. Uh, there's there's a comment. Um, Hello there. I don't know about that. <laughs> With this show, maybe, but yeah. um, I just I think that the there's. Yeah. Well, see, the thing is, they'll raise it between the two of them, but Butcher involved, and I just think that that would ground Butcher enough. You know, you think about him; his hatred for soups is basically in the comics what drives him to be the big villain because he just keeps killing them regardless yeah. if they're good or not. That being the case, once he is perhaps confronted with the fact he has a child of his own who is a soup, that would give him an arc to end that, you know, at peace with it. Because maybe if that soup's given a proper upbringing, won't end up like the others. Because I'm going to guess that Queen Maeve now has no powers because of the blast no, from... No, she doesn't. She says that. Yeah, so she's lost her powers. And yeah. Butcher's powers were only temp V. Yeah. So yeah, the kid could well be half, half soup or three <laughs> half soup. Three quarters who knows? Of soup. Well, who knows? It could be not. I mean, like I said, this is pure. <laughs> It'd be like theory. a werewolf. Every time the full moon comes out, the soup takes. Yeah. yeah, that'd be hilarious, man. Yeah. No. So anyway, that's my theory. Let us know in the comments for the show. Let us know on social media. Let us know via message, email, what you think about my theory. Don't be rude. Um, in this episode, again, last week, me and you really speculated about Huey Butcher not telling him about the 10th V, but in the most Butcher way possible, saves him from it by punching yep. him in the face. Um, it cracks I, me up because even like Frenchie and MM are like, in the most fucked up way possible. And Huey's like, yeah, yeah but he still did it, didn't he? Like, you know, he still yeah. saved my life. He's like, dude, he punched you in the face and locked you in a toilet. Yeah, yeah, I, I, but he saved my life. <laughs> it's like what? What do you Huey think to that? Huey. Do you do you think Hugh is naive, or do you think he is the one that can still see the good in him, whereas everyone else has given up? 
Oh, I think Huey's the only one that sees any good in Butcher. But do you but do you think he's naive or do you think there is a reason for Huey to still see it? Um I I thought he was naive in the first couple of seasons. This one not so much. Okay. Uh, I mean, his I guess... character seems to be growing quite a lot in these yeah. episodes. I guess time will tell. Um, yes. Speaking of Butcher and taking the tenth V, he takes it again despite the warning, and he obviously is very ill because of it. And he is in the yeah. hospital, and the doctor tells him he's got twelve to eighteen months to live. Yeah. <laughs> is there anything you can do? No. Off your fuck then. <laughs> and lights his cigarette. Up. You can't smoke in here. Yeah. Fuck off. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, you just told me I'm dying, mate. What difference does it make? Um, yeah. Now, do you think that is possibly the end game for Butcher that he is dying, or do you think that he'll maybe actually take Compound V to survive? I was thinking the Compound V route. Mm. It's I another think... possible. It's yeah. another possible ending for him, though, isn't it? You know, if he thinks oh, yeah. he's only got so much time. And he doesn't appear to be telling anyone either. You know, he nope. did that all by himself, and then he he reunites with the rest of the group. She's got to go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah now, I love that. That was. Yeah, for me, I wonder if it's going to be a case of he's going to kind of see it out. Yeah, it's fine. Wherever it is, what it is. Nine months yeah. later, he's going to get really start getting really ill. Yeah. Decide that actually, for some reason or another, he's not finished yet. Yeah. And that's when maybe the Compound V comes into it. Could it be yeah. the fact that nine months later, Queen Maeve reappears with Baby? And that and that makes him, yeah, you know, you you may hate all soups, Butcher, but if you want to be around for your kid, you need to do this. Yeah. And then it's like a choice for him. That, that'd be an interesting subplot, definitely. Um, ba- baby Lenny. Is it Lenny or Larry? <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 that'd work. Baby, yeah, Lenny. Because that was it when he decked Huey. He's like, you really do look like him. And he was like, what? Bang! I was yeah. like, oh, wow. How okay. that relate? Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Because well, he was always used to seeing his brother get punched in the face. No, that's bad. That's dark. Move on, Sam. <laughs> um, I, so I've got something for you here, which... Starlight versus Soldier Boy. Yes. Dude, what is Starlight's power? So because she takes energy from light sources and builds yeah. her own energy to to blast people. Which yeah. Huey, the absolute genius as he is, whacks the power up on yeah. everything. Absolute brilliant, because it, it showed him choosing to help her that way, then taking the tenth V, which I was delighted with. That I was like think good was writing. Gonna... Yeah. Me too. Yeah, me too. I completely thought he was going to, but no, I was delighted with that. That was really great. But she did all of that. That scene was epic. All the lights went up. She was like fire. You know, she was glowing. She looked like the damn sun. Yeah. And all of that made Soldier Boy take a few backward steps. Yes. Like literally fell over a little bit and then he got back up. Yeah. And I'm kind of like, I, I, she. she's a really nice person and she's really quite beautiful inside and out in every way. But her powers suck, man. Yeah, what, basically, you know, the only people that are really scared of her are vampires and gingers. <laughs> you can't say that. Like, Some vampires might complain. <laughs> but it's like, oh. that's it. Who else is scared of her? Oh, no, it's a really bright light. Ah! No, like, I'm like, yeah, I, I, I expected people... more <laughs> damage to be done from I, her. I really, yeah, that build up to the discharge to that felt kind of like wow that was anticlimactic yeah this is it she's um, gonna knock his head off nope she's gonna knock him over no. and piss him off okay like like knock him out do you know what i mean like hurt him make him at least take some damage and all it did was like give him a slight tan i think yeah see my point <sighs> my point proven of who'd be scared of him yeah 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 exactly um so that that was weird. That that was kind of like that's kind of disappointing. I liked Starlight, so that was kind of weird. Um, just a really couple of quick things. Uh, the Deep's ex-wife now on TV pushing a book deal. In that deep. woman, <laughs> she she is something else. She is. I still don't wow. get what her end goal is. I still don't understand the point I, of this I think, character. I think 
fame and fortune. I think just yeah. purely she was in it for that, and now she's like, nope, I can't put up with you, so she's going to make her fame and fortune out of being his ex. Uh, um, I mean, quite an upsetting. To, him, to be fair, she had good oh, reasons. Oh, big time, yeah. Eight good reasons. I. I genuinely find the arc with A Train and his brother a little bit sad because I thought A Train throughout this season was becoming humble, was becoming more self aware, uh, and then he acted out of anger to kill that guy, which was more than understandable given the situation. I know his brother was angry at him over that, but given that situation, that moment, I got it. Yeah. But he's got the guy's heart now. So he's back running again. He's dropped his suit thing that he had back for his full-on advertising sponsorship deals. Yeah, it's like he's like he's gone straight back to the guy he was. With forgetting everything he's learned, and the scenes with his brother. I mean, his brother's just hurt, just so hurt by him. Yeah, uh, I I mean it sets up brilliantly. But A Train's character. Do you see A Train in season four? continuing to be loyal homelander boy or do you see him eventually seeing the light um it's difficult because like there were scenes throughout this season where it's yeah. like ah oh, yeah he's finally had enough of homelander but then he goes Doesn't running know. back to him yeah uh which actually gets supersonic obviously gets supersonic killed and stuff yeah and then you get the scene in this one where he's kind of sat there and homelander's ripping into him and you think to yourself, yeah. okay, oh, this yeah. will be the moment where he kind of goes, nope, this sort of thing. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, I just don't know. Like, I, I think it's disappointing because like his story arc almost went full circle. Yeah, it did. Yeah. And then kind of jumped back 10 spaces. And it was it, like, it's, The thing that I would say, which is the important thing, because you wouldn't put A-Train as the main character and the main focus of the big A story in the show. No. But I am so invested in seeing him hopefully sort himself out. Because like when he apologized to Huey, he meant that. Yeah. Like that that the guy is doing such a great job at conveying that emotion in that scene, the actor. And I was kinda of like, oh wow, and I was kind of annoyed that Huey hit him. I mean I, I totally understand it, but I was kinda of like, dude, that was actually a breakthrough moment for that guy. That was huge. Yeah. But now, like you said, it feels like we've gone backwards. So we'll have to wait and see. But the fact is that I care. And that's really great writing. I, I yeah. like it. I feel like with A-Train, now that he's got his ability and stuff back, he doesn't give a crap. Yeah, yeah like, which is He only sad. cared because he couldn't do his thing. I, I think you're right, which is sad. But unfortunately, I think that equates to a lot of people. I think that... Yeah. I think a lot of people will look at that. I, I remember... um. Uh, uh, playing a sport to a certain level. I played rugby in the UK and I had a couple of guys who I was injured with for quite a long time. And this one of the guys was the most arrogant son of a bitch you'd ever meet in your life. But when he was injured, he was humble. He was he was a really great guy to be around. Um, and it was such a contrast. And the minute he was fit again, a total dick. Like, yeah. totally. And you, I was just like, i got no time for you. Like, you are such an asshole. You basically knew you were down and out, used everybody around you to help you get back to where you were and then just dropped them. Like, literally dropped everybody. Yeah. But, yeah, so that's what it made me think of. Um, Ashley uh, has been wearing a wig, um, which yeah. is so, so bad. But one of the things Ashley does in this, uh, all throughout this season, little hints that Ashley, obviously very unhappy, seeing her oh, actual yes. head, we know she's unhappy, mm. But she has evidence of Queen Maeve surviving and she deletes it. Yep. She is literally letting her get away. And that, for me, is the first inkling, a first little sign that Ashley is actually maybe at some point going to help the boys out, I think. She's kind of finally been pushed to the absolute limit and gone, nah, do you know what? Yeah. And there's enough's enough. I've, I've been pushed this far. Enough is enough. Yeah. No, I agree with you. Uh, mate, I've run through my bullet points. Are there stuff that you want to go through? Um, we spoke about Ryan and Butcher. We spoke about the big fights. Yeah. Um, only thing I've got left to talk about really is the season four and then question mark. 
Yeah. Um, so things like Homelander, for example. Well, Grace now has Homelander frozen in a crypto pod again. You mean uh, Soldier Boy? Soldier Boy, sorry. What did I say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you said Homelander. Homelander, wrong one. Yeah, Soldier Boy, sorry, still alive. Yeah. He's in the crypto pod held by Grace. Yeah. And it's like, wait a minute. Mm. Yeah. That's not going to end well. I'm I'm interested in that for two reasons. One, is she holding him because he's such a destructive prick she just needs to lock him away? Or two, are they about to experiment on him to work out how he removes V from people's systems? Yeah. Because she wants to take soups down nearly as much as Butcher. She just does it within certain constraints that Butcher doesn't. Yep. But knowing that, that is the weapon, isn't it? If you could weaponize that into a bullet, yeah. like you hit a soup with it and it just gradually takes their powers away. Yep. That's that that is literally, weapon. it's the silver bullet. It's literally what she has been hunting for. So my theory is that she's going to be doing experiments on him. And how the hell did she get him out of everyone? She she's a smart cookie, isn't she? Very. She she uh. Yeah. Also, you you gotta believe probably the boys called her in. You know, when they picked up Maeve, they went looking for her. They probably found him and went, "Hey, <laughs> now's the time to." You know, they were gonna use the another chuck on him, so they probably stuck that on his face and went, "Uh, yeah, pick up all five. Yeah, <laughs> clean up all yeah. five. Clean up all five. Thank you. Yeah." Um, um, but yeah, I, I think season four has so much, so much there. It's going to be... What, what do you think? Go on, let's, let's have a... Are we going to go with the obvious that Newman is going to be the bad guy with Homelander? Or do you think they're going to, like this season where they introduce Soldier Boy and stuff, is there going to be a... No, I, I think I think we'll definitely get introduced. Season, in fairness, in the beginning of this season, I was convinced that Newman was going to be the big bad. And they yeah. just kind of let her character bubble along under the surface. Yeah. By the, well, I, I I think I think that's a true indication of season four, her being the big bad. Yeah. She's given Compound V to her child, so we know that she has a soup child now. What abilities, what does that mean? We know Ryan. Are we going to be seeing Victoria Newman and Homelander uh, unholy alliance in their Power kids together? Couple. Like, hey. Yeah. Yeah, it's... <laughs> It's difficult. It, there are so many ways it can go, and I love that. I love the fact that I could sit here, me and you, probably do a full hour of just theories and ways, and all of them plausible. Yeah. And that, for me, is where this show does so well, because going into every episode, I'm like, I think I've got an idea where this is going to go. Oh, wow, it didn't, but it still worked perfectly. Yeah. Um, and that's great because there are certain shows that we we mean you discuss where it's like oh I think it's going to go this way and it did <laughs> so yeah yeah this this has kept um, it open at least like I know oh, it has I know I think me and you I don't know if we spoke about it on the podcast or if it was just when we were messaging and talking to each other we kind of said like we were a bit worried about kind of if Homelander survives this season, is it just going to be a case of every season is all oh, Homelander's bad? Yeah, that, yeah, Let's we did discuss Homelander. it. We were we were worried, yeah. And we were really worried about what that meant. Like, if Homelander's just going to be every season is going to be another, yeah. oh, but... But the way they did it... Yeah. Nah, the way the way they did it, you're just hooked in because it's the escalation. Every season, if you think about it, every season he's got that little bit worse, a yep. little bit more public. A little bit worse, a little bit more public, to the point that now he can just be himself in public and people cheer him, yeah. which has always been the way you, you could keep him in check. You want people to love you, you have to pers- you have to be the Superman persona. Mm-hmm. Now he can just be himself and still people will love him. That's the scary part. Yeah. It really is, man. It so really is. But It means that season four potentially is going to be another. Well, I say that. But at the end of the episode, Butcher turns around and goes, she's got to go. And it, that's yeah. not about Homelander. That's about Victoria Newman. So all of a sudden, it's like, oh, wait a minute. Is yeah. their hatred going to be the kind of B story? And the A story is going to be, how do we get rid of her? Because she's corrupt and terrifying. No, I, I, I think I think you're right. I think it's definitely got to be her. But Because you've got two things. You've got Homelander as part of the Seven. He's going to have to rebuild that, is yeah. he? I mean... Does that even exist now? Uh, there's but what, there's she, three of them left now? <laughs> but she could potentially be part of the government. Yeah. That's massive. That's that's so huge. And how do you take her down? Her ability is 
awful, terrifying. Her her yeah. ability is just if she can see yeah. you, she can pop you. Yeah, yeah, and that's translucent. That's see, they need him back. My powers work. That's... Okay, <laughs> yeah, I suppose. Uh, but that's it. That is our show. That is our season for the boys. I want to say a massive thank you to everybody for joining us. We've had a great time discussing the show. When the show returns, we will be back discussing it once again. Thank you, everybody. Uh, thank you to you, my friend. We will be back to discuss plenty of other things. Uh, this week on the Stuff and Things podcast, Wednesday, the Stranger Things finale with me and my daughter, Phoebe. Friday, the Ms. Marvel finale with me, the man himself here, Stefan, and Kaylee joining us. Next week, discussing the Umbrella Academy Season 3. So keep an eye out and ears open for all of that. Until then, everybody, you all take care. That's a season wrap, you ca- Thank you for listening to the Stuff and Things podcast. We hope you enjoyed the show. You can find us on Facebook or online. Simply search the Stuff and Things podcast to join in our conversation every week. What's Sporty Spice up to? Who? Sporty fucking Spice, what's she up to? I don't know. Exactly. How about Posh? You know what she's doing? I don't understand. Making clothes for anorexics, right? Not exactly a growth market. And Baby, you know what she's doing? Fuck all. Not even page six of the Daily Mail. And Scary Spice up to her eyeballs in lawsuits and sex tapes. Ginger, on the other hand, has released three albums, Passion, Schizophonic, and Scream If You Want To Go Faster. They'll all make your ears bleed. You see, when they're apart, they're absolute fucking rubbish. But, you put them together, they're the goddamn fucking Spice Girls.